Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Gemini for November of 2020. Let's go ahead and see what we got for you. Uh, if you're, this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I'm a spiritual empowerment coach and healer, and I help women heal from toxic relationships uh, with the power of energy healing and inner child work. All right, I do have a brand new course coming out or has come out is called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you are really interested in learning how to connect to your higher self, as well as manifest the things that you want in this lifetime or have been trying to manifest and something's just not working, um, this course is definitely for you. You can check out all of the details below. It is early bird pricing till November 1st, and then the price goes up. So you want to check that out now if you're watching this before then. Check it out anyway. All right, so what is happening here? You can find that in the description. Did I say description box and comments? <laughs> that is where you will find the details. All right, so for you, for this month of November, it is going to be about healing. You've got the sun card, which is the overall energy, and it's really about kind of letting go of the things that um, the emotional feelings is what I'm getting for you here. So the sun card is my healing card. So this tells me that there's brighter days is also what I'm hearing. Um, especially in the beginning of the month, because in the beginning of the month here, we've got the eight of swords, we have the lovers card, and then we've got the five of pentacles. For some of you, this could mean that you're feeling left out in the cold. So a relationship could end romantic friendship, partnership, whatever it is, um, could definitely end. You feel kind of tied, you feel kind of stuck. And then it's like, they didn't care is what I'm hearing here. It's like, they didn't care. Um, I'm also feeling like you put a lot in here, um, but didn't get it reciprocated. So you're feeling a little bit kind of down a little bit of what did I do wrong? Or why does this always happen is what I'm getting here. But just realize that. Now, the other way that this could be read is that the lover's card to me is a connection with spirit. So connection with your intuition to the divine, to your higher self. Now, for some of you, you might feel blocked from this and you might feel alone. But just realize that you're never alone when you're talking about spirit. They are always with you. Your loved ones on the other side are always with you. So feel into that and ask them to come to you and ask them to show you something. And they will... They will, um, they will do that for you <laughs> if you ask them. In the middle of the month here, we've got the Nine of Wands, the World card, and then the Knight of Wands. So, you know, after the beginning of the month, things start to look up. You start to see things a little bit different. You start to sit in your power. You've got the World card um, and you've got the Knight of Wands. So this tells me that you're taking action towards your goals. You're taking actions towards your manifestations. You're... You're taking the action for the life that you want. So really kind of knowing your power, knowing your universal energy, knowing what type of responsibility you have in that, okay? It's not just up to the universe. You have to do work um, to get what you want, but you definitely can see that the night is moving towards the world card. So you are taking that action in the middle of the month here, which is absolutely awesome. Now we've got the three of pentacles. We've got the Knight of Swords, and we have the Page of Wands here. So again, action. You're working at things. You're working on healing. You're working on letting go of those limiting beliefs. You're working on letting go and releasing the energy of trapped stuff from your childhood and from your past and from traumatic events. Now, so you're working towards that. It could get a little rocky, okay? Healing isn't always the most pleasant thing to do, but you've got to let those feelings come up, and you've got to give yourself a chance here. You got to make sure that you are, first of all, taking the right action to do what you want to do, but also it's like, give yourself a chance, <laughs> you know, like let going, let go of all the fears, let go of feeling stuck here and kind of open yourself up to receiving the help that you need is what I'm getting there. Let's see what else we have. Pause and observation here with the nine of wands. So again, really kind of reflecting, looking back, taking, um, taking a, what is that word I'm looking for? Um, I don't know. Being aware of what's really going on right now, observing and realizing, like, are you where you want to be? Are you thinking the way that you want to think? 
And we've got, as I say that, ego and internal politics here. So realize that your ego might be playing you. Your ego might be telling you, nope, we got We can't do that because it's not safe. Um, you know, they might be telling you, nope, don't do that because we don't like that. Or that's going to feel really uncomfortable. And I always say, you know, get comfortable with being uncomfortable because that's where life lives. And then we've got the eight of cups here, which is contemplation. So you might be thinking a lot about things. You might be waking up in the middle of the night here with this card um, to really kind of letting the healing sink in is what I'm hearing. So again, sometimes it doesn't have to take long to heal, but in those moments, you know, waking up at night, you might be doing this before even healing and that's telling you that you need to heal. A lot of women that I work with, they will wake up in the middle of the night because our subconscious is trying to heal itself and it's in our dreams. Um, and they're, sometimes they're not pleasant. So we wake up in the middle of the night. Let me know. Let me know if that's you in the comments. All right. Uh, one more card, please. These are my soul truth cards. What question does Gemini need to hear for the month of November? All right. So we have, where am I called to use my voice right now? And it says, you have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters, and it's time for you to share it with the world. Today's soul action. Share your story with at least one person today. Be brave and speak your truth. Your voice will be the catalyst for healing in others. Ooh, I love that. And if you don't feel comfortable sharing your story on Facebook or anything like that where people know you, like do it down below. Do it down in the comments, but get it out. I just had this. Um, I can't remember. It was, I think it was either Virgo or uh, actually, wait, Cancer. I think it was Virgo maybe, but it's time to share your story here. Time to write it out, right? Write it in a book, write it in a journal, share it down below, but like share your story because you're not the only one that has been through something like you have. And the more that you can see that, the more that you can share your experiences, the more that you don't feel alone. And especially with this healing, like healing is about sharing. It's about being who you are and being confident in who you are, no matter what you've been through. It's about there. I'm, I'm hearing here, like stop hiding um, because that hiding can hinder you from healing and can hinder you from achieving your goals. So Stop hiding is what I'm getting for you. All right, so I hope that makes sense. If you want to work with me on a deeper level in my From Pain to Power mentorship on that, you can see the details below as well. And then, of course, my other course, Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance, is down there too to find the details. Um, so much love. Give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked it, and make, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Much love to all of you. Stay strong. Keep healing. It's going to be, I feel as though the end of December into 2021 for you is going to be a really game changer because the healing that you do from now until then is going to completely change and transform you into this brand new person to go into 2021 with. All right, much love to you and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.